falling, falling, falling for you. Maybe I'm falling, 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 falling for you. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we're making frozen yogurt. So I found this recipe online and we're going to try it out and see how well it comes out. So we have two types of fruit, which is kind of like the same. This one is basically strawberries, bananas, and blueberries. And this one is basically strawberry mangoes and peach. And then we also for sweetness, we have some pure vanilla extract and then we have some honey and for this recipe it requires fat whole fat yogurt so we can either have regular or you can have greek but it has to be plain to get that great taste you're looking for so guys if y'all watching please make sure you like comment subscribe turn your post notifications comment down below any more suggestions then we're just gonna get right on into this video let's go Oh, yeah, and I'm also using a blender. You can use a blender, food processor, or ice cream maker, okay? Okay, guys, we're back. So we're going to be adding in one half cup of plain yogurt. We're going to be adding in our fruit. Yeah, it's basically more strawberries than anything else. We're gonna be adding in three tablespoons of honey. I should have had this prepared already, but hopefully it don't take that long. Come on, just for one. Hold up, let me squeeze this out a little faster than this. Whew. That's one thing about honey. You gotta make sure you have it ready or you're gonna have a problem. Okay, we got one, two, three. three tablespoons of honey and we're going to add in one teaspoon of vanilla extract Oops. sorry for the background noise but hey it's the morning time so you're gonna hear a little bit of car action okay and then we're going to put on our lid and we're going to begin to puree this. <laughs> check out the consistency of this yogurt or what people call it froyo 
Oh. Whew. That was a little tough right there. Now we're going to get us a spoon. And we're going to see how this tastes. All right, so. This is the consistency you want. A little bit loose, but also thick at the same time. Oh, it can definitely lose a little sugar. This tastes so bland. But Lisa's right, though. Mm. We're about to add um, some sugar to this. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we're about to add in one teaspoon of sugar, maybe two, because this is a little bland. And we're going to see how this goes. We're going to just mix it up a little bit more and then go from there. <laughs> See how this one tastes. Let's see if it tastes a little better. Mm. I think it's the blueberries for me. It's not giving that that sweet sweet taste. We'll see for right now. We can probably put it in the freezer and let it thicken up. But for the most part, it's done. All right. Mm. Yeah, it's the blueberries for me. So we're gonna get this into a container and then I will show y'all how to do the next one, okay? Okay, for this one, all I did was add in the half cup of yogurt, the fruits, and then I just added in sugar to this one. We're going to see how this one comes out. And of course, this is the consistency you want it. Let's see how this tastes. Oh yeah, this one, we have a winner. It definitely requires sugar. Do not use, well, if you're gonna use the honey and vanilla, use Greek yogurt. But for regular plain fat yogurt, use sugar. This one is good. Mm-hmm. This is the strawberry, peach, and mango. This one is the bomb. Mm-hmm. Definitely enjoy this one. So, guys, y'all have it. Two easy, four ingredients, three to four ingredients, frozen yogurt. You can eat it as it is right now, but I'm about to put this in a container and then put it in the freezer so it gets a little bit hardened. And that's it. So, guys, I hope you enjoyed this quick video. So guys, give it a like, comment down below, hit that subscribe button so that you can be notified every time I post. And until next time, we're out of here. Peace.